Hey, what's going on everyone? So this is part two of my video where we'll be talking about verifying group policy deployments and also troubleshooting conflicting group policies. So if you wanna learn how to create a group policy and deploy it, then you'll wanna check out part one first. All right, so let's get into it. So if you ever wanted to know what group policies were being applied to your system, there's a command that we can run that will tell us. Now you can run this command in command prompt or using PowerShell like what I'm doing right now. So that command is gp result space dash r. So what that does is that pulls a report here of all the group policy objects that are applied to our system as well as some other information. So if we go under here to apply group policy objects, we can see the group policy that we created earlier, block command prompt. So this group policy is applied to this system. So that's one view. Um, but in a production environment, you're gonna have a lot more information here and you'll have to scroll through. It gets a little bit messy. So you can run that same command and actually output it to a text file. So I'll call it GP resolve dash text, hit enter. And we can see right here in this text file, the same information. So it's a little bit easier to read. We can see down here, apply group policy objects right there. Okay, so another command that we can do is called RSOP. So we can type in RSOP, and then that will take a minute to pull down. Okay, so what this tells us is this tells us all of the settings that are applied to the system and what group policy has applied them. So you can see that it looks real similar to a group policy. Now, if we go under user configuration, administrative templates, we can see the system and we can see the setting that we set earlier. Prevent access to the command prompt, the state's enabled, the group policy name is block command prompt. So it tells us here's the setting, Here's the current state of that setting. Here's the GPO setting this setting. So we can even double click on this and get some more information. So I wanted to quickly talk about conflicting group policies. So sometimes you'll see multiple group policies that are setting the same setting, but with a different state. So you may have one group policy that is enabling the command prompt and you may have another group policy that is disabling the command prompt. So the way we determine which one wins out is with group policy order of precedence. And so what group policy order of precedence does is there's multiple types of group policies. You have local group policy, like what we're seeing here on the endpoint. You have site group policy, which is applied to your site. You have domain group policy, which is applied to your domain. And then you have organizational unit group policy applied to an organizational unit. Now there's an easy acronym to use to remember the order of precedence, and that's L-S-D-O-U, local, site, domain, organizational unit. With local group policy editor, is we can come in here and we can configure different settings. So for the setting of blocking the command prompt, we are actually enabling that. I know it says disabled here, but this disabled means that it's allowing the command prompt. Let's move over to our group policy management console. And we can see we have a site here. Now the site has a group policy applied to it saying block command prompt. And then under domain, we have enable command prompt. And then under an OU, we have block command prompt. Now this is an extreme example. It's not something that you're gonna see, but it helps to illustrate the point here. So LSD OU, we're saying apply local group policy first, followed by the site group policy, followed by the domain group policy, followed by the OU group policy. So if we go back to the endpoint and we run an RSOP, we can see the setting here, prevent access to the command prompt, state is enabled, group policy name is block command prompt. So if we double click on this, 
go to Precedence tab. Now we can see that all of these group policies are being applied to the system. The local group policy is actually enabling command prompt. The site group policy is blocking the command prompt. The domain group policy is enabling the command prompt. But the final group policy that's applied is the OU group policy, which is blocking the command prompt. And so we can verify that if we try to open up the command prompt here. And then as we can see, the command prompt is blocked. So LSD is a helpful acronym to remember the order of precedence when it comes to group policy.